everyone. So this is going to be an updated tour of my bedroom. This has been a very heavily requested video since I've come back to YouTube so I'm really happy to be finally doing it. Sorry about the weird lighting that's going on here. My bedroom is very small and very dark but then my light that I have is too bright so it won't be like this for the whole video. Hopefully sometime after this there will also be an art studio tour as well so that will be good. Yeah but until then on to the tour. So the first thing that you see before coming into my room is just this tapestry on my door and then down the bottom I just have a little sparkly rack. So here is a quick overview of my room before I start getting into the specifics for you. It's very small. A lot of people think that my bedroom is really big, like no matter what bedroom I'm in, and I can tell you this is not a large room. I just fit a lot of stuff in it. I don't know how. So here is the back of my door. It's not that pretty. I mean, it's just got some stuff hanging on it. It's got some bags and jackets and stuff just for convenience. Then up the top here I have a little ceramic bat and some stars. So then moving along the wall I also have this little Halloween fairy picture. Moving down we have some arachnids, <laughs> some glowy stuff, we've got some little Halloween fairy lights. And then down here I have some little Halloween friends. Then over here I have my bookshelf and I keep a lot of my plushies up at the top as you can see. And then in front of the books I have a lot of like dolls and figures and just different stuff that I like.
have this little rabbit from Alice in Wonderland and this is one of my little chests of drawers. Then on this wall I have this little polymer clay dragon and then I have different mushroom pictures that are all like cross stitch and they were given to me and I really like them. Down here in the corner I just have this giant frog plush and he's just sitting on a mushroom and then I also have one of my bags there as well. Here we also have some ghosts. also have a lot of fairy lights. This is the next wall and then also my bed with my cat. So I have a lot of dream catchers and I made all of them except for that tiny one there that was from a garage sale. Over here I have my fairy wings. Up here I have a plastic bag and he's just got some stuff hanging off him. So then over here I just have a little ceramic mushroom picture and then Underneath that I have a poster from when I went and saw Placebo, their 20th anniversary tour. So then down here is my bedside table. It's nothing really very interesting at all. I just have my fan, a picture of a wolf, and obviously my lamp, and just some books that I'm reading. Some kinetic sand. I don't know why I keep it there, but it just seems to be a good place for it to sit and a tiny bottle of salt. Now moving back to the bed, I just have a bunch of pillows and some little bat plushies and then obviously there's my bedspread which is the same in every room tour and my cat licking his butt which is always nice. to the next wall and most of it is just taken up with my window. I've got like this giant star, some pictures, have that tray table there. And that's kind of just the view out my window which is just my backyard. I have my cat's enclosure out there so I often like see him out the window there and we say good morning to each other. What you doing? Oh, what a good boy. 
here's my little side table. It's a bit of an odd arrangement. I hardly ever actually have it with my bed at the moment. It's just kind of sitting by my window looking awkward, but I just have some salt lamps, a book, and my laptop. And up here I have my big star and some more fairy lights and pictures and a figurine. And then down here I just have a little stool that I keep my bag on when I'm not using it. Now we're onto the last wall and I just have a cure poster, a little mushroom picture, the Hogwarts flag, and we also have my TV and Xbox and then just different stuff on that shelf which I will get to. And then that is my dressing table. a bunch of Neopets. These aren't all of them, these are kind of just my favourite ones. And down here I have CDs and DVDs and more Neopets. And I also have my PlayStation 1 over there because I've had it since I was like 8 I think and it still works. And then I have some Xbox games as well and then some puzzles that are of course Neopets and then I have more DVDs and games. Down here I also have some heat bags just sitting here when I don't use them. Then down here I have another mirror, which matches my bed head that was made by my mum. I have my little jewellery box, and I really need to sort out my jewellery and like get a hanger for them because they get tangled up all the time and it is so annoying. I think I keep bracelets in there, a little tea light holder, deodorant. I keep all of my rings and some ear cuffs and badges in that one. I just keep a bunch of arm warmers, scarves and hats in there but they're also piled up that I never use them because I forget they exist when they're in there so I need to do something about that. Also a random knitting needle. Nose ring chains and like septum rings and stuff in there. And then on here I keep all of my collars and cuffs and stuff and a couple of bracelets. That is a dressing table. There's also some glowy stickers on there and some rats but they have sort of been sliding off because it's so hot here the blue tack melts so then anything that I stick up with blue tack it just starts to slide and eventually it falls off and I have to fix it. Down here I keep some of my shoes and going back up here I just have some bats. Of course my big Hogwarts tapestry. Lastly down here I just have a little pumpkin. So that was my updated room tour. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you next time.